hasta que sean las 10. Ahí está ya. Teacher. Teacher, no, no, no. Teacher, no se, no se preocupe que Selena estuvo dando la clase. Really? Sí, yes. puede ver el video después. Ay, Dios mío, todo. Todo quedó grabado, pobre Ronnie. Ay, no. Ay Ronnie, lo va a colgar el, el teacher. Sí. ¿Lo que pasa? Hi, el, el de aquí, el que dice, Hi, everyone. Hey, hey, de aquí. Yeah, don't, don't do that. He's the boss. Sorry. Yeah, he's the boss. Un placer haberlos conocido. Yo creo que me escucharon ya de clase. El video lo puede eliminar. Sí, no lo voy a publicar, por favor. Yeah, no, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. okay. Hey, you guys, be careful. <laughs> Alfonso, oh, no, can you read the objective, please? Ya se fue, Alfonso. Uh, maybe Ruth, can you read the objective? Okay. Ay, Go ahead, Ruth. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn how to use have plus noun and fill plus adjective to express health problems. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used, used in a real life setting. Okay, very good. Um, so let's watch this video, right? Um, let me see if I have it loaded. Okay, pay attention to the structure, okay? Everybody mute the microphones and let's watch. Can you see? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. No se escucha. Yeah, I don't know why. Hold on. Que le hicieron burla, por eso ya no se escucha. <laughs> Let me see. Mm, maybe here. <clears throat> Different illnesses. For example, I have a headache. I don't feel well. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. I would like to start by explaining the examples on the left-hand side of this chart. How to form statements with have plus noun. We can follow this formula to do that. Subject plus have plus noun. Let's analyze the first example. I have a headache. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally we include a noun. A headache. 
Let's take a look at one more example. I have the flu. The subject is I. Then we need to put have. Finally, we include the noun, the flu. Now, I would like to show you how to form statements with feel plus adjective. We can follow this formula, subject plus feel plus adjective. Let's analyze the example, I feel homesick. The subject is I, then we need to add feel. Finally, we need to put an adjective, homesick, or it can be any of these adjectives towards the right. I feel sick, awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Now it's your turn to practice giving examples of your own. Try to use the vocabulary and try to make examples using have plus noun. Alrighty, unmute the microphones everyone. Unmute them, thank you, awesome. Okay, so do you have questions about the vocabulary here? Well, that means yes. homesick. homesick. You know, homesick Homes. is when you live in another country and you miss home. You're like, oh, I miss El Salvador. I want to go to El Nostalgic. Salvador. So, yeah, it's, mm. it's similar, but it's like you don't, feel, you don't feel happy in the country in that moment. You miss your home. Mm. Okay. Yes. And what okay. about awful? Awful oh. is similar to terrible. Uh -huh. Okay. Like terrible, awful, they are synonyms, okay? Uh -huh. What else, guys? Mm. What about terrific? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Good uh, thing. Good thing. So if I say, how are you? Terrific. It's good, okay? Mm -hmm. But don't get it confused with terrible. Terrible is bad. Mm -hmm. Terrific is good. Okay? Um, okay. Anything? Let's repeat after me, okay? What's the matter? Okay. What's, What's the, the matter? matter? What's wrong? What's, What's wrong? wrong? How are you? How, How are, are you? you? How do you feel? How do you, do you feel? feel? Okay, uh, any questions about these four? No. What's wrong? What's the matter? These two are synonyms, okay? Like, what is the problem, right? But you don't say, what's the problem? You say, what's wrong or what's the matter, okay? Okay, repeat. I have a headache. And I have a headache. I have a backache. I have a backache. I have the flu. I, I, I feel homesick. I feel I feel better. I feel better. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. All right, some negative adjectives. Sick. Mm, Sick. Yeah. Uh -huh. Awful. 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 Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. Miserable. 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 Fine. 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 Great. 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 Terrific. Terrific. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yes, if you notice, it goes in order, right? Sick and miserable. Fantastic. Like, bleh, the words, right? Fine and fantastic. So... It's like in order, right? It's like an order. Mm. Sick, mm -hmm. awful, terrible, miserable, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. Okay. Eh, any other questions? Como lo, lo, como lo positivo, digamos, lo contrario al, al negativo, con el positivo ahí. 
Yeah, yeah, pause. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. That is right. Okay, the, uh, this structure we're going to practice on Monday, okay? But if you can study during the weekend, study all of the content, all right? Especially because this is a lot of vocabulary, all right? But we're going to practice on Monday. Okay. On Monday. Yes, I think next class is Monday. I will confirm, but why? Le dijeron otra cosa, no? No. No, yo creo que lunes, pero... Pero sí, pregunten, no. pregunten mañana, pregúntenme y yo voy a, voy a preguntar también. Aunque creo que no, hasta lunes. Yo, yo creo que no. Ok. <coughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Have a fun weekend. It was nice seeing you, and thank uh -huh. you very much for joining. I will see you again on Monday. Thank Take you. care. No, no, vuelva a dejar solos, teacher. Que este es un caos. All right, I won't. <laughs> I'm not going. To. All right, bye. -bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, bye everyone. <laughs> <laughs>